it. Today we're in Beverly Hills at the Peninsula Hotel interviewing Melissa Rosenberg. You know her as the writer of the Twilight series, of Dexter, the OC, Allie McBeal, Party of Five. So I am a huge fan of anyone who makes a living as a writing, much less is the most sought after writer in all of Hollywood. So welcome, Melissa. Thank you, glad to be here. Thanks for being here. <laughs> How does it relate, the writing discipline and the physical discipline? How does this relate for you? You know, I think it, it's probably surprising to most people that writing actually is a very physical activity. If you, you have to concentrate so fiercely. It requires such self-discipline that if you have any sort of ache or pain, if your back hurts, if you're sick, if you're tired, it absolutely interrupts the creative process. So it's extremely important to stay fit, to stay rested, to have a healthy diet. What do you do for physical activity? I have a pretty strict regimen. I, I have a trainer uh, because I actually hate working out. So if someone shows up uh, at my door and I have no other choice, I'll work out. Uh, it's, it's, uh, it's a cheat, but it's, it, it works for me. I don't think it's a cheat. I think it's really <laughs> great. Your female characters are vulnerable and strong. And I thought about this because I have a 16-year-old daughter who is devoted to these movies and has watched them over and over and over again and cannot wait for the next one. And we just featured Vicki Reed, and I thought, what is the message for women or young women who watch the movies about empowerment and vulnerability? You know, what do you want them to think about when they think about the lives led by these characters and how it might relate or not relate to them? It was a very conscious decision to make Bella a very proactive character. Uh, she goes for what she wants. Mm -hmm. You know, her boyfriend tells her not to, her parents tell her not to, everybody's saying, you can't have this, don't go for it, it's dangerous. She pursues it. Mm -hmm. And I think that's the message, that's what I hope gets across to mm -hmm. uh, the young woman who watched this is, go for what you want. What's one of the fun sequences in this movie is, Bella attempting to seduce Edward. Mm -hmm. She really embraces her seductress. She goes for it. Wow. And, uh, you know, not to give anything away, but anyone who's read the book knows she's successful. <laughs> that was the spoiler. No, <laughs> we, we know, we know. That was good, though. If you were to look back at your younger self, or if you, if you met a young woman who was younger than you and, said, and she said, I really want to be a writer, what would you tell her? Oh, I have so many, so many things, so many what not to do's. Uh, I think women think the work will, it's all about the work. Right. I think a lot of women think it's all about the work. Like the work will stand for itself. The work will stand for itself. Right. You know what? It really doesn't. Wow. You also have to be, uh, that's maybe 50% maybe of it. That's true in my business. It may be true in all businesses. I'm not sure. But the other half of it is be someone people want to work with. Learn how to pick yourself up off the floor mm -hmm. and move forward. Or laugh at yourself. Or laugh at yourself. Right. Learn how to take a hit. What's your mantra? My mantra is show up. Show up at work. And for me, showing up at work is sitting at my desk. Wow. Show up every day. Well, I think that's it. And I really appreciate your being here at Five on Five. Now, I do have one little thing, which is I like to high five people at the end. So Excellent. I want to say great work, great career. Thank you. And thanks Thank for you coming. So much.